All right, let us continue on. I feel like I'm gonna fight something big soon. I should probably chug a couple of ethers. All right, here we go. Okay, so after I kill all these, a big one's gonna show up. Never mind. I guess it was just a whole gaggle of them. Gotta stay on my toes if I'm gonna make it out of here alive. Oh well, I drank. Well. The main theme. Discontinuing a jazzy song. Uh huh. Revival. I should probably get one of those again. Hmm. I'll worry about that later. Let's sit on the bench for now. Please sit down. Uh, at least Barrett makes a lot more sense. Like, Cloud's like, yeah, I'm gonna sit on this bench and just turn my giant, horrible sword to the side. I mean, that's dangerous. Probably like stab himself in the thigh or something. Or stab someone in the thigh. Don't stab people in the thigh, that's just rude by the way. Alright. Oh! Kitty! Wedge! We made it! Where's Cloud? <laughs> Does anybody care about Cloud? I don't think we care about Cloud. He's okay. If you didn't look like shit. Yeah. Where's your other cats, though? Weren't there three of them? Thank God. <sighs> yeah. I don't understand okay. humans. Let's go. Uh, so sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not crying over here. Uh. It's a lot of butt. It's you, all right. Yeah. Huh? What is this? Uh, what? What? Uh, um, hello? Um, wait right there, Wedge. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Hello? What are these things? Why are there so many? Excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are these? <laughs> what? Hello? Well, at least it's okay. Thundara on these things, weird asses. Okay. Ow. Okay. Oh, there's so many! Ah! Music, though, very good. Uh, Tifa, I need you to do, um, things, I guess, to that one. Ow! <sighs> I 
Uh, uh. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh man, I'm so glad that I have that materia on. Okay, well, don't worry, Tifa, I'm coming. Eat it, dicks! Uh, okay. Well, apparently the last time I was playing the game wrong because if you don't use your magic, you just suck. Okay, there's gotta be a big one. Or just more. Okay, are they gonna, like, merge? Yeah, of course there's more. Can you use a uh, ether on me? Thanks. Boo, 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 boo. Pew, pew, pew. They're not ready. Okay, those ones are doing some weird shooty thing. Uh, so we're just gonna use regular thunder on them. Oh no, not paralyzing fluid! That didn't hit it. Okay, these things are really annoying. Okay, so Tifa is regenerating. I gotta, gotta figure out how to do that. Uh, I guess arrow? Maybe that, ah! Oh, actually, that, that thing really didn't like arrow. Gonna go ahead and ether up in case there's more after this. Yeah, oh, there's more. Oh, I knew that there was gonna be a big one. Tifa, are you okay? Okay, well, uh, now we're back up here. Hello? Oh, it's very large! Now it yeeted me. Okay, well, I gotta, am I still going to the thing? Where's the thing? Is it up there? How is this uh, working? Barret! Uh, I, uh, that vent? Hello? <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? Uh, Barret, are you okay? I don't think Barret's okay. Woo! 
Oh boy. Ouch. I can't really hit it with anything, I don't think. Like, what? Uh, where am I supposed to be going? That's the question. Am I just fighting these things forever? Oh boy. Now. Okay, they're all dead. Can I, can I, can I do something? Do I have to kill the appendages? Oh, that's the weakness. Okay, well. Like, I'm not sure. Am I supposed to be hitting the appendage? Hi, Ellie! I have no idea what's going on in this fight. Other than this thing is kind of beating the shit out of me. This is a very strange thing. Oh, I guess now that I took care of the thing. Oh, okay. Finally. Oh, the heart. Weak spot. I'm hurting again. Uh, ah. It brings good luck. Yeah. Well, I guess we're fighting together again. Huh. Ether on Barrett. I've made Barrett like a spell casting crazy man, and it's working out very well. Ow! Except fire in the hole. Mega potion on Barrett, please. Get out of here, unknown entities. Oh, we can summon. It's Shiva time. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, why are you immune all of a sudden? Why are you? Oh, because they have like shield on or Whoa. What is that? Pine farming. Oh, really? I'll have to check that out.
Okay. Oh, no, no, this is gonna hurt. Oh, of course. God, this thing hits so hard! Holy shit! Can you not? Like, can I get one fucking second? Oh, jeez. Items. Okay, uh, item. Mega potion. Barret, please. God damn it! Like, dodging- Okay, I gotta say, dodging in this game fucking sucks. There have been, like, two times where dodging actually did anything for me. Other than make me just... Move slightly, but still get hit by the same fucking thing. Uh, 280? Nice! Man, I really hope this fucks this guy up. Oh, good, he's weak against ice. Fuck you. You know what, that's the good thing, is that... Everybody here knows ice. Glass cannon. I know. Well, that's the annoying thing is this thing like it's gonna do this jump Dodge did I'm in the middle of the dodge animation, but apparently dodging is literally just bullshit Heal please. No, nope, of course not fuck you And that's the other thing these things do like half of your fucking health worth of damage multiple times in a row Oh God, I would fucking love like, if difficulty in this game was consistent. Oh, cool. But instead, it's like, okay, we're gonna run you through a bunch of, like, bullshit battles that mean nothing. And here, oh, you can fight something that's gonna fucking destroy your asshole. Cool. I love stuff like that. Fuck you! No! Oh, like, really? How are you supposed to fucking avoid that? Come on, game! Fucking... That's bullshit. Yeah, I'm trying, but... At this point, just keeping everyone alive is being a huge pain in the ass. Uh Well that should kill it. Fuck you. Uh. Oh, there you are, Cloud. Where were you like the entire other twenty minutes of this fight? Jesus. Yeah. Fuck you, Cloud. You're not even that fun to play after playing everyone else. Yeah, good job. Hell yeah. <clears throat> good job, Barrett. So how'd you manage to track us down? Followed the trail of bullet holes. There's nobody else I know. <clears throat> wow, thanks. <laughs> Long as you get us, that was awkward. Let's uh, calm down with the staring there, bro. <clears throat> okay, guys, that's definitely big enough for Barrett, maybe. Oh wait, yeah, here experiments. <gasps> God, were those people? People. Is it time for more Bert? Yep. Huh? Cloud, are you okay? Cloud? <coughs> Hey, 
Hey, you guys aren't supposed to be here yet. That's not allowed. <clears throat> oh, I was going to ask you, Ellie, does this still not show up for you? Like when you check out my account? Because I don't know why it wouldn't, because I feel like all of my other PlayStation Plus stuff showed up just fine. I wonder if there's just some like weird thing with the uh, the remake. <clears throat> I need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. Mm hmm. The demo and the account. That's so weird. Huh. Good kitty. Good kitty. And then the cat's like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I get to play Barrett again. I hope that later on, because usually it makes you play as Cloud. I want to make, like, the character that you play as when you're running around, like, whoever you want. Because I like playing as the other characters, but they force you to be Cloud, like, most of the time. <laughs> Okay, I guess, but he's really heavy. Jesse and Biggs saw how bad they were hurt. I'm sorry, but we'll check out away. Don't. They've returned to the planet. How do you know that? <laughs> I mean, unless you played the original game, they were like, yeah, well, they all technically died. But after the, I mean, after the plate fell, they didn't really go much into it. They were like, well, that's it. They, they were supposed to return to us. They promised. <clears throat> but if we stop now, They'll never let us live it down. Boom, boom, boom. So, <clears throat> carry that weight. Yeah, like this one. Cloud, don't lie. You were just saying that as an excuse to not have to carry him around. Broken dreams. The Shinra research intern Chadley is developing brand. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen Chadley in a little while, though. I should have probably checked to uh, see if he was hanging out. Automatically upgrading weapons. <clears throat> this feature is especially handy when you've collected a fair share of weapons. I, uh... Oh, hi. Now we're in chapter 14. I'm sorry. I truly am. We had no other place to go, and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. Even though I did tell that uh, one guy to stay the hell away from here. But I guess it's okay if he's here too. Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. We found an underground Shinra lab where they've done human testing. <gasps> this wasn't the first time, but it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never going to let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially that one jerk Hojo. That son of a bitch Hojo. Yeah! Yay! I knew it! Numbers and meat Enough! <laughs> Yay. Hojo is such a bastard. Please. I need some time to think. <sighs> Fine. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think there's enough beds for this many people. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I was just like, what's going on, bro? Huh? Huh? 
Why is that door open? That's Aerith's door. Thanks, Miss Gainsborough. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Showtime? Uh, hello? Why did it? Why am I looking at this? If I can't go in, there's a there's an item. There's an item in there. Please, please let me in. Damn it! Where's the goal? Am I going up? Is it time to go mope out on the balcony? Any ice cream? I wish I had ice cream. I went to the store earlier, but then I couldn't actually go inside the store because I forgot my mask. Because it's sitting right here next to me. Um, I had like my backpack and everything ready to go, and I got on my, my, my scooter, and I got over there, and then I was like, oh, I can't actually go inside. So then I just rode the scooter around for a while to see um, how it would do, like, just driving around the, uh, around town. And it works really well. Um, I I'm going to say the top speed is, like, 50 to 55, really. Um, realistically, it can get up to 65 miles per hour, but that's only, like, for long stretches to get up to that speed and also if it's on a hill. Okay, where am I just going? Am I just leaving? What is happening? I wanted to go inside her room. There are secrets in there. Ooh, purple! Wait. What is that? That's a summon. Purple? No, wait. It's purple's not summon. Re Wasn't Tifa in the... Was she not in the bed? I thought she was in the bed. Or maybe the whole point was to show that she wasn't in the bed. But Barrett was still sleeping. Sorry, Tifa. I'll be there in a second. I need to go up there. I thought I got all the materia. But I didn't. Uh, but I have to walk very slowly. Uh, I have to trample the flowers. Sorry. Uh, sorry. 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 Hello. What are you? Oh, MP up. Okay. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Tiva. Yeah. Well, she's just kind of. She's been through a lot. We've all been through a lot. We got attacked by weird experimental thingies and, you know, that old chestnut. Hi, are you okay? You didn't step on the flowers, did you? I did. Can't hey. sleep. Hello? You too? I heard footsteps. Yeah. I figured it was going to be Tifa because I've been really nice to her. To wake you. And not super nice to Aerith. I'm but... a light sleeper. It's a soldier thing. Yeah, it's a soldier <laughs> thing. <laughs> that flower you gave me the other night, that was from Aerith, wasn't it? Uh, well, yeah, but I bought it for free. <laughs> I knew there was something weird going on. You buying flowers? They symbolize reunion, believe it or not. Yes, great. <laughs> I was curious, so I looked it up. I tried to keep it alive as long as I could. But now, it's dead and buried. Just like... Oh, no! Oh, no! Tifa, oh! Oh, no! Cloud, you need to learn how to hug people. Oh. Wait, wait! Oh! Hug? Hug? Huh? Oh, he's like, oh! Uh... Uh... Well... Uh... uh <laughs> everything from us. Uh, Cloud! 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 Come on! <laughs> you gotta learn how to do emotion things! Uh, um... What do I do? Oh my gosh, she's just like, uh, uh, I think this is the, this is the part where I'm supposed to, oh, oh, there we go. That took a while. Aww. Yeah, I kind of figured at some point there was going to be a breakdown because she was questioning a lot of things and just not having a good time. Uh, sorry. Oh no! <laughs> You're hurting me. Oh, oh, sorry. 
Sorry, I don't know how to hug, and also I have like bolts in my arm armor. I know that crying's a waste of time. Uh Tifa. Uh not true. Yeah. Thank you. That sorry, I squeezed you like super hard. Yay! See, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with that. You've done more for us than we deserve. Although, if you hug I Barrett, I would this. love to see that. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. <sighs> Elmira. No. I've been thinking about what you said. <clears throat> She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. Yeah. She's our friend. <sighs> we have to help her. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Class just like right. I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <sighs> please bring her back to me. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Marlene. Are you going? <sighs> I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Yeah. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. Wow, he's not the worst. He does what he can. Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. He's a man of the action. Your friends, the whole planet. It's daddy's job to protect it. Yeah. Hmm? Huh? Huh? Ah. Uh... Oh, also, Ellie, um, Anna says hello. And that's why I've got to go. She was just apologizing because she's like, you I can't join nice stream because she has, like, you. night but classes. Go find her. She's like, if Ellie's there, say hello. Home, you need to say thank you, okay? okay. And I was just like, it's fine. She's kind of... She's weird. What? Nothing. You should help her. Uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, don't worry. His hand is like half of her body. Right? Yeah. <laughs> of course, I promise. Okay, you can go. <clears throat> yeah. This neutral father. I mean, at the beginning, he was like really, really rough, but you know, that's just because he didn't know Cloud and also a lot of stuff was going on, but he's definitely changed a lot. I think. She's tougher than me. Out of everyone so far, I've enjoyed uh, Barrett's, um, like extra Don't forget we're change and character I development know, the most. To rescue Aerith. But I do really like Tifa. Cloud is, I mean, he's Cloud. For the first part of the so game, he's to get Soldier Boy with no emotions. The train still aren't running. Well, we could pedometer? The city's on high alert. What? <laughs> Why do I have a pedometer? Down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. You mean Corneo? Oh boy. Yeah. Okay, what the hell is pedometer? May do something after taking the, a number of steps with its set? What? No, uh, Corneo's just a disgusting bastard. He's, he's not like a... No. Um, item master. Deadly dodge is maxed. I don't really use deadly dodge a lot, so we're going to swap that out for... For that. Pedometer. I mean, I'll probably fill it up. I, I don't know what it does if it gives you money 
or like something else, but here we go. I mean, deadly dodge would be good if I actually dodged more. I just don't because a lot of the time dodging seems incredibly pointless. And in that boss battle, I wouldn't have even been attacking after the dodge. I would have just been like, oh, okay. Okay, I gotta find that Moogle child because I have a lot more medals. Also, I need to find Chadley. Chadley, where'd you go? Actually, I don't know, would it show Chadley on the map? Item shop, materia shop. Okay, the Moogle Emporium is right ahead. I do not see Chadley. Um, I would, I want to talk to the Moogle child. Who are you? The sky is falling and Avalanche is to blame. But wait. Did you know Wu Tai is the one funding their activity? Oh no, now we're ta now this uh, now we're being extra racist. Nothing more than pawns of Wu Tai. Puppets dancing to the tune. Oh boy, they added this racism. Well, they did, probably didn't add it, but it's a lot deeper than it was in the original game. I mean, Wu Tai and Midgar were both Wow. Yeah. Those dang Asians, I mean, Wu Wu Tai people. The truth ain't free, you know. We ain't no damn pawns of Wu Tai. I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. Yeah. Ugh, I don't even know what they do in Wu Tai. Yeah, wait. Leave her alone. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, hey, Tifa, listen. There's only, yeah, I mean, these people are crazy. There's no room in this for regrets or what ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. But right now, Instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Yeah. Everyone here is terrified. Like, mm -mm. So like there's a lot of stuff that's really good about this game, but there's some parts where it's like they threw in a lot of stuff that was kind of not necessary or a little weird. Oh, the final job. The collapse of the plate means that many people in the slums are desperate in desperate need of assistance. Once the party enters the Shinra building, they will no longer be able to help anyone in need. Oh, it sounds good. To Shinra. <laughs> gonna get like the worst ending for this game because I'm gonna keep like just ignoring people who need help. How far could they have gone? Well, they're just like little extra. Well, one of the extra things, which I thought was a part of the story but wasn't, was the thing with um Leslie or whatever. That's not his name. Um, but like, I didn't really care about him at all, but I saw somebody like doing his little extra bit and I'm like, why do we care about this guy or Johnny? Like Johnny was literally a nobody in the original Final Fantasy seven, other than a couple of times that you talked to him. And now they're like, oh, look at this guy. He, ah, uh, and I'm like, why do we keep bringing him up? Oh, still, whoa. Oh, that's dangerous. A short enemy and lodge, but I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I kind of like ha him being full long range. Oh no, I was... Side quests are cool and all, but I'm not here to play this game forever. Like, and I know a lot of them like explain more of the Midgar world and stuff like that, but I'm like, I don't, you know, I don't want to sound horrible, but I just don't care. How many? I have 13. I thought I had a lot more than 13. A lot of things they wanted in the game couldn't be implemented back then. Well, yeah. I mean, Final Fantasy VII, the original, is an incomplete game. Like, there's a 
absolutely no doubt about that. Uh, it's still a good game. It gets the point across, but there was a lot of stuff that they just did not have. Um, oh, the toad status effect. Oh, I mean, I guess. Why not? Oh, whoops. I forgot. Skill points. I forgot about that. Uh, Aerith skill points. Bear well, don't care about that, so we're going to buy everybody else's stuff. Also, I do not like the way that I, I don't like the fact that the Moogle kid makes Moogles look like fucking koalas. Moogles looked perfectly fine the way they did before. They, like, I, I don't know. They didn't look anything like that in the original Final Fantasy VII either. Why did we need to change them again? They were fine. That's like changing cactar designs. Don't need it. They look perfectly good the way they were. But yeah. Far could they have gone? I mean, it's just that after a certain point, it's like, okay, cool, there's extra stuff. But I'm glad to see that you're okay. there's a point where, where it feels like they're just padding the game. And I'm like, I don't like, I get it. You want the game to be a certain length, but I also want to be able to get through it in a reasonable amount of time. Oh wait, is there another? Oh no, there's still just Shiva. Dang it. Uh, I don't know if there's any more research stuff I can get. Okay, so I already own all of the materia I could own. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Yeah, I know exactly. Your assistance in gathering data. Okay, um, I already did that though. Look, I did your thing. I'm grateful for all your help. You're welcome. That was quick. Okay, what materia did you make? Oh, enemy skill! Oh! Well, and, 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 I, and I understand, like, that their, their hope is that people will do all the extra stuff to get, like, the full story and all that. And maybe, like, I'll play it again on my own time and, like, check out a lot more of the side stuff. But when I'm streaming a game, I don't have time to turn a game that's essentially like, you know, a good 20 to 30 hour game into a 40 to 50 hour game. Because I'm like, I just want to get it over with so I can get to the next one. But, yeah. Oh, wow. I am really far from where I need to go. Yeah, I know. You're in trouble, but I... Sorry, I'm busy looking for a girl. Oh no, I mean, I play Persona and I like Persona. Uh, in fact, I have most of my, like pretty much all my Persona 4 playthrough. Although that took forever. So I will never again play a Persona game on stream from like the beginning. It'll be a new game plus. So I actually make it through in a decent amount of time. Da, 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 da. Oh no, no, I don't care about you. Yeah. Yeah, cool. You're a merc and a former soldier at that. Yeah. I hate to ask, but we've got a few runaway birds. Mind helping us find them? Oh. Poor things were so startled by that plate coming down, they just up and bolted. I'm sure they're around here somewhere, frightened and hungry. <sighs> oh boy. All right. I think we can help you out. Oh, thank you. When you find them, feed them this. But I already had Casal Greens. And their names are Coco, Lolo, and Momo. They'll come on home once they got some food in their bellies. Good luck. I'm counting on y'all. Okay, are they along the way? Okay, camera bat. Alright. So I'm there. So I need to find those three. Okay, well. Once along the way. So you're just happy to be, well, yeah, I mean, the thing is, a lot of this is indeed like a remake of it from the ground up, but then there's a lot of extra stuff. And I understand most of that extra stuff is story and stuff, but some of it just feels very 
like blah to me. Which is why I don't do a lot of the side quests, because I'm like, man. I mean, I, I get that they're they're trying to make you like have more of a reputation and stuff, but I'm like, after we leave Midgar, what how is that going to matter? But I also don't know how they're gonna, how everything's gonna kind of like tie together later on. Cause obviously in the original Final Fantasy VII, you leave Midgar for like most of the game and then come back to do a very specific mission. Um, so I, I don't know. Unless your reputation somehow reaches the other towns, which is one of the other things where it's like, man, the other towns have to know Midgar exists, but I feel like they don't really interact very much cause Midgar just sucks. Oh wait. Oh well. Did you guys get into it with them or something? Yeah. Talk about it. Oh wait. Sorry, bye. You don't recall? Is that right? Oh wait, that's the child from before. Hello? Wait, why am I chasing the child? I thought I was looking for chocobos. Oh, there's too many freaking exclamation marks. I have enough money for sexy hand massage time, but... Oh, hi. Wait, it's just you. Wh what? Okay, Sam, I'm going to talk to you. Are you going to tell me about your chocobos? Okay. No problem. They heard a chocobo working in one of them sexy five back alleys. Heard there's a chocobo out by the Collapse Expressway. Collapse Expressway. An old church. Oh, that's where I can go back there and get that materia. Very good. Okay, well, that, and that's it. So I have a marker for you, but that's uh, okay. Let's drag a search. How to find them all and report to. Okay, so he tells me where they are. Failed. Yeah. Look at all these. Failed. 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 Wow. Well, I guess there was nothing in between chapter three and chapter eight. Because that's when I was outside. But yeah, this is. Wow. That has so many steps to it. What? Ruby weapon spots, yeah, something. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know, Ellie. I, I, it's, it's just like, it's one of those things where I understand there's like a lot going into it, but also it's like, man, a lot of the stuff feels like it didn't really, like some stuff didn't really need to be there, and it just, I don't know. Like, who knows when part two is coming out? Nobody. And we know this is going to be at least like three parts, probably four. And I'm just like, man, that's a long time to wait to see exactly like how they decide to do things. But I don't know. At this point, I'm just kind of like when it happens, it happens. Like, I'm not going to I'm not going to have my hopes super high. I mean, after Kingdom Hearts three, I just was like, when a game comes out, it comes out like. I was excited for Kingdom Hearts 3 for maybe two to three years when it was in development. And then after that, I was like, I don't know if this game is actually coming out. Okay, well, I'm going this way. I don't know if I'm going the right way or not, but we're going this way. Yeah. Well, they definitely succeeded in stretching out the game. I gotta say... Like, I thought the, cr I liked the crazy motorcycle, like, um, mini game in the original. And then we had two of them here and both of those sections were very long and kind of annoying to be perfectly honest. So I was just like, hmm, I don't know about this one. Yeah, I was not a huge fan of it. Okay, well, now I'm going I think I'm going the wrong way. Yes, I am going. Ah, why did I go over here? Well, the second part is going to happen. I know that there's a second part because it's 
the second part is actually when it happened canonically in the first game. The first one was that extra mission. Um, so, yeah. But, like, even that first time I was like, man, this is just a very long bike ride to do a thing. And, I mean, when the enemy showed up, you can only go forward and backwards so much, and it's generally not enough to actually hit them unless they get in your range. And I'm like, okay, well, having to wait for these guys to, like, actually sit right where I need them to be is a... It's kind of a pain in the butt. And then you had to fight Crazy Motorcycle Man. Which was interesting. But also, uh, like, that's the other th that I mean, that's one of the th other things I've talked about, is that almost every large-scale encounter in this game, much like Kingdom Hearts 3, which is one of the things that kind of annoyed me, um, has multiple segments that kind of just show up when you're in the middle of trying to do something. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, I was trying to, like, cast magic, but I guess fuck me because this thing is going to form whatever the fuck. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like that just really fucks with the flow of battle. Especially if you're already in kind of a hard encounter. Hi, I'm here. Actually, wait. You know what? I bet this is the second part where I do stuff with... Uh, where I do stuff with the guy I don't give a shit about. Leslie, where are you? Uh, how many doors does this guy have? Holy fuck. Okay, we're in. No one's home. Yeah, it's really quiet. Okay, well, uh, can I go through this door? No, I can't go back. There. Of course not. Can I steal all his gold bars? He's not here. I mean, fuck that guy. He's a dick. Give me his gold. Oh wait, what's over here? Uh... Hello. A fury ring. Ah, uh, what does that do? Um. Enter the battle with the berserk. Oh, well, no. No, <laughs> thanks. I don't want to be berserked. Da, 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 da. Hello? Anybody home? This is the, the nasty fuckboy room. But it's not full of nasty fuckboys. It's full of nothing. Actually, I don't know if they're even fuckboys. They're just degenerates. Huh! <laughs> Let's go over here. There's probably stuff down in Love Dungeon. Wait, is this to the love? No, this is. Oh, there we go. I was like, where's the Love Dungeon? Love Dungeon downstairs. Ugh, excuse me. Barrett, you didn't get to see this place, but I did. Yep, there's an item. Help somebody. Uh, sorry, I need to look at this otherworldly crystal I just got. Deuces duration of detrimental status effects. Interesting. Hey. Is it? Don't tell me that's like Johnny again getting stuck in a dumb situation. Sorry, I can't open that door. Bye. Help somebody. Nope. Bye. Hey. Wait, it's telling me I'm getting further away from my objective. Hello? Do I have to go down there? Is that... Are you telling me I need to go to that door that I just went to? Do I need to go through the big fancy door? Oh, wait, no. Here we go. Okay. God, there's so many doors. Ah. Uh. Hey. 
People aren't allowed to have guns unless it's bare. Time no see. Okay. What brings you back here? Why does he have his own theme? Who the fuck are you? Uh, we need to find a way to get topside as quickly as possible. Yeah. And we figured Corneo ought to know one. Is that so? Yeah. In that case, I can help. You serious? Then tell us. Follow me. Okay, but if you do anything bad, we'll just straight up kill you. Let's just hear him out. Yeah. Let's hear out this random guy who's just like a door greeter for Don Corneo. But he has a sad, sad backstory. So, hey! What's the deal with the hole? Oh, we're going back into the sewers. Business. I, if I have to do another pump minigame thing, I'm gonna fucking scream. You want us to go back into the sewers with you? What's down there? Corneo's hidey hole. That's where I'm headed. You're not gonna try to screw us over, are you? If that's what you think, walk away. I'll find somebody else to work with. And you'll have to find another way to get topside. All right. We're in. Say what? You got you beat? Yeah. Well, I'm not even, like, raging. I'm just like, I don't fucking care about this guy. <laughs> that's pro probably the problem is... I'm one of those people who's in the group, like, I, I'm not a hardcore fucking nostalgia yanker who's like, oh man, I can't play this game because it's not turn-based and blah, blah, blah. But I literally just don't give a shit about, like, most of the extra people that showed up because I'm like, I don't need to have to worry about more people than I already have to worry about through the main cast and whoever else, you know, you meet along the way. Da, da, da. Like, like if this was its own game, like if Final Fantasy VII original didn't exist and this was this, this is what it was, then yeah, I wouldn't give a shit because I'm like, okay, this is its own thing, you know. But since I played the original and now I'm playing this, and I'm like, man, I don't, I really don't care about these people. <laughs> it's like, hey, look, here's my party. There's other people, the president. Corneo, and then it's like, Leslie! Who are you, Leslie? Who are you? That's how you be, feel about 13. I, well, there was a lot of reasons that I didn't like 13, but it was mostly, the biggest thing was the battle system, but I just could never really care about the main cast very much. I loved Saz because of his personality and everything, but everyone else, I was just kind of like, man, like, Freaking Lightning is just, she's basically Cloud, but just angrier? Well, and you just don't like, you don't learn a lot about her until later on either. Like, or throughout the story, you're like, oh, oh, okay, well this is, this is this, and this is this, but I don't know. This never really, yeah, no, I fucking hate Hope too. I hated Hope through all the games. Like, he was just the most annoying, like, if you don't like Titus, oh boy, let me tell you about Hope. He's basically like whinier Titus. <laughs> and I don't care if he's a child. Fuck that kid. Anyway, we're going to end this recording and then I'll start up the next recording. <laughs>